come in. Hi, Miss Jane. My name's Tiffany. I'm going to be your CNA today. We're going to do catheter care on you. Is that okay if we go ahead and do that? That's okay? Okay, perfect. I'm going to go wash my hands, gather my supplies, and then I'll be right back. Hi, my name's Tiffany. I'm with the North Texas Nursing and Career Institute in Denton, Texas. Today, we are going to be doing catheter care of the um, Texas Regulations of the Nurse Aid. I'm going to go gather my supplies, wash my hands, and then we will begin the skill. You're going to grab a paper towel. You're going to turn the water on. Hot and cold. Throw this one away. Wash your hands. Get them wet. Get your soap. And then you're going to lather for 20 seconds, singing happy birthday or watching on your watch. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. Okay, then you're going to rinse starting from the wrist down. Not wanting to touch the sink. Now that they are all dry or washed, you're going to grab a paper towel. You're going to dry your hands starting from the wrist down. Cleanest to dirtiest. Throw this one away. Grab another paper towel and turn the water off. Throw it away. Now we are going to gather our supplies. You're going to need a blanket or a towel for a barrier, two pairs of gloves, a pad or a chuck to place underneath so you don't get the bed wet. You need one washcloth to wash, one washcloth to rinse, one washcloth to pat dry, and you need a bath blanket for privacy. You also need soap and a basin to put the water in. Now we will go place it on the table tray and then we'll come back and get the water. Okay, Miss Jane, I have my supplies here. I'm gonna place it here. We're gonna place the barrier down on the table. Place my gloves here, place my basin, and my other supplies. Okay, Miss Jane, now I'm going to go get your water and then we will be, I'll be right back and then we'll begin. So now we're going to get the water. You're going to use a clean paper towel to turn the hot and the cold water on so the water temperature is comfortable for the resident. Then you will test the water with your wrist and it makes sure it's okay with the patient with them testing it with their hand. We're going to grab a paper towel. You're going to turn the hot and the cold water on. Throwing this one away. Have the warm water. You can always test it with the inside of your wrist if needed. Then you are going to grab another paper towel and turn the water off. Throwing this one away. And now we're going to go test the water with the patient or the resident to make sure it's comfortable for them. Okay. Miss Jane, I have your water here. If you can test the water for me, please. All right. We'll put your water down here. We'll test it with your hand. Does that water feel okay? Feels perfect? All right, great. Now, we will cover her back up. Now I'm going to place the call light at the end of the bed, making sure it's out of the way. We're going to make sure that the bed wheels are locked, both sides. And then we are going to pull the privacy curtain 
to make sure the privacy is for the resident. Now I will begin the, my skills, putting my gloves on, putting your less dominant hand on first, then your dominant hand, I am now going to place the pad or the check underneath the resident um, for making sure that we do not get the bed wet. I'm going to place this here. I'm gonna walk over to the other side, raise up the bed rail, and then we will begin rolling her over to place the pad. So we are going to make sure that the bed rail is raised. so the patient doesn't fall out. Okay, now I will come back over. Now with the pad, you are going to make sure that the plastic lining is on the outside. So you are going to roll it up. Place it here on the side. Okay, Miss Jane, we're gonna place the protective pad underneath you. We're gonna roll over to your right side, okay? I'm gonna have you cross your arm across your chest. And we are going to bend your left knee. Okay. And then on the count of three, we're gonna roll to your right side. One, two, three. Great job. All right, now placing the pad underneath her, you're gonna wanna make sure that the catheter does not get caught underneath the pad. Okay, Miss Jane, you could go ahead and roll back for me. One, two, three. Great job. Now you can straighten out your arm and we can relax that knee. And we'll pull your covers back up. Now I'm going to raise this side of the bed rail for when we roll her this way, the bed rails will be up. Okay, now I'm gonna go over to the other side. And again, we're gonna cross the Miss Jane's arm across her chest. Miss Jane, we're gonna roll you over to the left side, okay? You're gonna make sure that the patient's knee is bent by helping support it, keeping her covered. And on a count of three, we're gonna roll over to your left side. One, two, three. Great job. And then you'll pull the rest of the pad towards you. Again, making sure that the catheter does not get caught. Okay, now you can roll on back. One, two, three. You can relax her arm and we will relax her leg. Okay, now that she has the pad underneath her, we're gonna place the bath blanket over her for the privacy. With that, we will take the blanket, unfold it, making sure that we don't shake it or fluff it. All right, Miss Jane, now that we have the bath blanket or the privacy blanket over you, I'm going to pull your sheets down to about your knees, okay? If you'll hold on to this blanket for me up here close and tight, that way we can keep you covered. So we'll just roll this down to about her knees. I'll go over to the other side to make sure that the blankets are down to her knees, never wanting to reach over the patient for your safety of the safe body mechanics. Okay, now that this is about down to her knees. Keeping her covered. Now we will begin the skill of the catheter cleaning. Okay, Miss Jane. 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the catheter care. I'm gonna clean the catheter. We're gonna go ahead and bend your knees, and then I will wash the catheter for at least four inches, and then I will dry the catheter for at least four inches out. Okay? So we are going to go ahead and bend your left knee. There we go. Have the blanket to keep your feet warm. And then we will bend your right knee. Again, the blanket to keep your feet warm. And the privacy blanket to keep you covered. Okay. Now I'm going to take my washcloth, get it wet, wring the water out, and get my soap on there and lather up the washcloth. You're gonna wanna make sure that it's all lathered up so that you have at least the four corners in order to wash the catheter. <clears throat> okay, now that it's all lathered, you're going to fold it into fours. That way you will have the four leaves to do the catheter care. Okay, Miss Jane, now, we were, now we're going to do the catheter care. Clean you. We will lift up the privacy blanket and her gown. So here's the catheter. You are going to open the lips. You're going to hold the catheter at the meatus and you're gonna clean at least four inches of the catheter. You wanna make sure that you hold onto the catheter so you don't tug or pull the catheter out. Starting with one, we're gonna clean at least four inches. You're gonna fold it over. Cleaning, holding at the meatus, cleaning at least four inches of the catheter. There's two. Again, you're gonna hold at the meatus and you're gonna clean at least four inches of the catheter. And one last time of washing, you're gonna hold the catheter at the meatus and you're gonna clean at least four inches of the catheter. Okay? Then you're gonna place this in the dirty designated um, linen or utility. You're going to get another washcloth, making sure that it's wet. You're going to wring the water out. And then you are going to rinse the catheter. Again, you're gonna hold the catheter at the meatus and you're gonna rinse at least four inches of the catheter. Not tugging or pulling. Fold this one over, holding at the meatus and cleaning at least four inches of the catheter. And again, you're gonna hold at the meatus and clean at least four inches of the catheter, rinsing it. And one last time, you're gonna hold the catheter at the meatus and you're gonna rinse at least four inches of the catheter. Then you're gonna place this in the dirty designated utility linen. Then you're going to take a dry towel using different parts of it to dry, just like we did with the washcloth. You're gonna hold at the meatus. You're gonna clean dry once, drying at least four inches of the catheter using a different part of the towel, holding at the meatus, and drying at least four inches of the catheter. And again, you're gonna hold at the meatus and dry at least four inches of the catheter. And one last time of holding the catheter at the meatus and drying at least four inches of the catheter. Okay, then we'll place this in the dirty linen area Now that the catheter is clean, we can go ahead and pull her blanket or her gown down, relax her knee and her other knee, making sure that she stays covered. And then now we are going to remove the pad underneath her. So again, you will cross her arm at the chest And you will bend her left knee, holding her leg and knee for support. 
Okay, Miss Jane, on the count of three, you're gonna turn over to your right side. One, two, three. Great job. So, now we are going to roll the pad underneath her. You're gonna roll it towards the patient. Again, you wanna make sure that the catheter does not get caught up in the pad for any tugging or pulling. Okay, Ms. Jane, now we're gonna go ahead and roll back, one, two, three. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and relax this arm. And we are going to relax your leg. Now I'm going to go over to the other side and making sure that we get the linen pad or chuck underneath her out. You're gonna make sure that you cross the patient's arm across her chest. And you're gonna bend the resident's knee. Again, holding and supporting to bend her knee. Okay, Miss Jane, on the count of three, we're gonna roll over to the left. One, two, three. Great job. Okay. Again, you wanna make sure that the catheter does not get caught up in the pad. You're gonna roll the pad towards you. <clears throat> okay, Miss Jane, now you can go ahead and roll back. One, two, three. You can relax her knee. And we can relax her arm. Then we are going to take the dirty linen pad, holding it away from our body so that we don't get our clothes contaminated. We're gonna place it in the dirty linen utility area. Okay. <clears throat> now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and remove the privacy blanket and pull up her sheets. So with that, we can pull, roll up her blanket and pull up her sheets. We're gonna place this in the dirty linen hamper utility. And then we're gonna make sure that the sheets are the way that we found her. We can remove the bed rails, place them down. And the other one, we will place the bed rails down on the other side. Fixing the bed sheets on this side as well. Okay. Now that we have fixed the sheets for Miss Jane, the resident or patient, we are going to empty, rinse, and dry the basin. And we are going to place the soap in the desig designated dirty area. Placing that here. And then we are going to empty, rinse, and dry the basin. So you are going to empty the water, grab a paper towel to turn on the water to rinse it. So you are going to turn the water on, throwing this paper towel away. You're going to rinse the basin. You're going to grab a paper towel to turn the water off, throwing this one away and another paper towel to dry the basin. We are going to dry it. Now that the basin is dry, we're gonna place it in the designated dirty area. Placing it here, okay. And then we are going to make sure the call light is within the patient's reach. And we are going to lower the bed to the lowest level possible for the patient. There we go. Miss Jane, are you comfortable? You are? Okay, great. Is there anything else I could do for you? No, that's all? All right, thank you very much for letting me do the catheter care. So then you are going to take this barrier towel 
place it in the dirty linen hamper. You are going to remove the privacy curtain so that the patient can have visibility to see. You are going to remove your gloves, not contaminating yourself. You're gonna, again, make sure that the bed wheels are still locked. Okay, then you are going to go wash your hands and that will complete the skill.